Good morning. I had a lot of people ask what I took with me on my bike trip, what worked, what didn't work. And this is a video about my bike and about the things that I took on uh, this last trip. So what, what I have is a Trek Damani, um, and I got these wheels made at Summit City. Uh, basically, I have a Son Deluxe Dynamo hub and some Velocity wheels with 32 spokes. Um, the Dynamo worked flawlessly. These um, Sine Waves Beacon headlight worked fantastic. Um, it was nice to be able to just have it on all the time. The charger in it kind of worked. Um, basically, I could fill um, one battery bank halfway in a normal day of riding. Um, but back to the bike itself. So it's a you know, Trek Damani, it's got the ISO speed decoupler. I've got an Onyx hub back here in the back, paired with a 36 by 11 tooth um, cassette, a Shimano 105 long cage derailleur, or medium cage, I'm not even sure really, um, paired with a 5034 compact crank. Um, as you can see, I've got side-by-side -side water bottle holders and I had a jar of peanut butter in there. Um, I had some inner tubes, which I strapped to there. And right here, I did have a tire. The only issue I had the entire trip was I cut a tire, but it did not cause a flat. Um, the chain, the chain is a uh, by Whipperman. It's a con convex, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But four tail lights. Um, I have the red shift seat post, which as you can see, it's got different seat positions, um, and it works. It works really well, although I found myself having it pretty much just in the forward position because it was comfortable. Uh, and Michael Brown at Summit City did a fantastic job of fitting me to my bike. Um, the cockpit area. Um, well, let me back up. So I have a frame bag. I had that rear bag on, by Relevant, I think is the name, I'm not positive, that fit on back behind the saddle. And I had this uh, Specialized, both this bag, the top two bag, and the frame bag are by Specialized. Worked flawlessly, fantastic, great products. Um, handlebars, I got a basic set of, of handlebars that came with the bike. Um, and... You know, I don't know if you noticed, I've got Ultegra brakes on here. Um, and so, you know, I've got Ultegra um, shifters. I've got the red shift um, aero bars that I put mountain bike grips on. The mountain bike grips worked fantastic at reducing vibrations and giving me something to actually grip when I felt like I needed it. Um, I've got a couple of water bottle holders here. Um, I used some rubber bands to kind of try to retain the water bottles. I lost one water bottle um, that popped out and I started the trip with four but one of them I didn't put back in the holder and left at a restaurant and didn't realize it till later in the day. Um, this water bottle holder, this was Marcus Wynn's idea, so we have this little bungee cord so that it wouldn't slide out this way worked really well as long as you remember to snap the thing shut which with your right I'm right-handed works better so I have two GPS's a Garmin 1030 and my backup Wahoo element bolt which is a couple of years old uh, the Garmin 1030 worked very well except I did have the screen freeze one time when I'd gone off route and then kind of like tried to I don't even know what the heck I did, but it screen froze up for a little while. And uh, then the other thing is I actually laid my gloves on the touch screen and it's changed the language. So now I need to call Garmin and try to figure out how to get it back to English. Um, the other thing I got going on that worked fantastic is, and I'll try to move this out of the way, is this external battery right here underneath the Garmin. Um, I had tons of battery life and never once worried about running out of battery. So basically the only thing I charged 
was that charger that's hanging out underneath below the Garmin. So one more thing I gotta show you that worked really well was this pump, frame pump, I think it's called a mini pump, high volume, or no, high pressure, the high volumes from the mountain bike, but this pump worked fantastically. Um, and since I'm looking at the peanut butter for everybody who wants to know, that right there is the fourth jar of peanut butter for the whole trip. So yeah, I love peanut butter, I ate a lot, um, so yeah. So what was in my bags? It doesn't look like a lot, it really isn't a lot. We'll start with the spares. Um, first of all, I had no mechanical issues. I changed one tire. I started on the set, same set of tubes I finished with. Um, so I had a, some tire boots. I had a bag with a valve stem tool, a knife, and a lighter. I had some brake pads, um, a shifter cable and a brake cable, a patch kit, uh, zip ties, a multi-tool by Crank Brothers, which I love that tool. I had some uh, water bottle cage bolts. Um, the screwdriver I used a couple of times to tighten up things like the tail lights and to change the batteries on the spot trace, which is attached to this bag right here. I did need that bungee cord um, because I would sometimes have to take my Patagonia base layer on and off and so I needed instead of getting in and out of the bag as I changed altitude I pretty much just kept the base layer on the back of the bag but back to what I have so this is a Kevlar spoke I kept it in the directions um, a couple of derailleur hangers I did not need those and oh and a couple tire sticks which I used to change my tire other than that that's all the spares I took with me didn't need anything. Did use the lighter to start a campfire. Um, so had socks. I had three pairs of socks. A pair I was wearing, and then these two pairs. Um, had my Patagonia base layer, which I this I wore this on and off almost every single day. It was phenomenal. Um, Gore thermal tights. Oh my God, love this. Love them. They work great. My Gore shake dry jacket. One of the best kits ever invented. Um, you know, I brought my my Bontrager rain jacket because I wasn't sure the temperatures I'd run into. Did not use it at all. Um, this is my my cycling jersey. Once I pretty much quit racing, I quit wearing this because I kind of felt like a fraud. Um, this needs washed. It's been wrapped up. This is my cycling cap. Number lucky number 15 um, I got that for entering the Trans Am bike race and uh, yeah so I'm kinda you know there's a lot of emotions surrounding that um, my Gore beanie I used I used this quite often there was a couple of days where it was just cold um, and yeah that slip on underneath my helmet phenomenal piece of kit used it used it anytime the temperature got into the 40s or below um, my ski gloves, loved, <laughs> used the heck out of them. Um, I liked the, I really liked the fact that I had these with me. Now I had taken another pair of gloves, but they were too bulky. Ended up ditching them. Um, I have arm warmers, did not use them. My face mask, I did not use, and my ear warmers because with the Gore, Gore beanie here, um, if I had a, my earbuds in, they kind of got. You know, they kind of put too much pressure on where the ear warmer doesn't. So let's see here. Um, I had a spoon for my peanut butter, um, a pair of tweezers just in case I needed to remove something. I didn't use them. I had a couple extra reflective strips, a pen light just so I'd have a flashlight. Did not use that. Used my hairbrush quite a bit. Some KT tape. Didn't need it. Um, Earbuds, I had a second pair, I don't know where they went to. Um, my my lock, Birch Bees Chapstick, one of the most, the thing I used every single day is this awesome handkerchief that my friend Jennifer had embroidered by our friend Patricia, Shane's wife. So I cannot tell you how valuable having this handkerchief was to clean my glasses, to wipe my face. Um, it was phenomenal. Just absolutely worked really well. Jennifer, thank you so much.
Um, an adventure cycling map, once I went off route and didn't have it, electronics, I love them, fantastic. Um, this charger here, that's the charger for the Garmin external battery. I got various chargers, um, had my ProLink um, chain lube, a cup, three battery banks, um, some homemade batteries by Phil, and uh, in a nutshell, other than my little boy Einstein, um, that is everything that was in my bags when I got home. Thank you for watching. Ta-ta for now.